Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Blessed summer solstice. 21st of June today, summer solstice. I know you're seeing it a few weeks after. But uh, yeah, and I've returned. We've already done a video from this place, I know, a couple of years ago with Al and his daughter Ellie. But I've come back to Crowhurst in deepest, deepest Surrey. We're out right on the sort of Kent, uh, East Sussex border. And I brought you to St George's Church which was dedicated in 1191. But what makes this church very famous, unless you've seen the video before, is something in the churchyard. And this is it. The Crowhurst yew tree. It's estimated that this is 4,000 years old, making it probably the oldest yew in the country, 4,000 years old. This was probably a pagan site well before the church was here. Um, and they could have met at this yew and actually go inside. Oh dear, look at that. Whew. The first record of its girth was recorded in 1630. But um, this must have been a landmark around the village for years and years and years. <laughs> I love this little door here, isn't it great? <laughs> when John Evelyn came here in 1664, he wrote, I'm going to write this out to you. Um, the yew in the churchyard of Crowhurst in Surrey, which I am told is 10 yards in compass. 10 yards in compass, I love that. I know it's a cop out that I've done a video from here before. That door is incredible. Um, but I will link that below. The problem with Crowhurst is nowhere to park. Absolutely nowhere to park. I'm actually out on the verge. Um, but I'm not going to be here long. But yeah, it's really just nowhere to park. <coughs> it's a straight road. So yeah, the U Hurst uh, U tree. Fantastic. I wonder if the church is open. That's a bonus because when we were here before it wasn't open. So say so, yeah, dedicated in 1191 but alterations in the 14th and 15th century. A bit of another skirmish with the English Civil War um, around this area and a cannonball was found lodged into the yew tree outside. Which is interesting. It's a very isolated parish this. I mean there's not much here, there's not many houses around. Interesting. Interesting happened here. Near this place lies the body of Margaret Gainsford, late wife of Nicholas Gainsford, who was a prominent family in the area, who departed this life uh, 19, 1691, age 82. 1691. Wow. Brass plaque on the floor here, which is 1634, but it's all in Latin, so I can't. I mean, is Latin relevant? I know people still study it, but. Maybe it's for heritage, but uh, yeah, it's all in Latin. The font, I believe, is 13th century, 13th century uh, font. Just here is some medieval graffiti. Medieval graffiti. Isn't that incredible? I don't know what it says, but... Ladies and gentlemen, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So on this summer solstice day, this is a very quick trip to Crowhurst as I was coming through, because I'm doing a video also in Lingfield, which you'll see next. But yeah, thanks for watching. Be like, subscribe, knock up that al algorithm. <laughs> Hope you're having a great day, and we'll see you later on. Take care. Mm -hmm.